Oh, okay. Yeah, Shalom Alakim, everyone. This is the Mensal 89. Welcome. Um, we are going to be covering this again. Yes, the verses um, that I chapter 31 in his Unitarian versus Trinitarian uh, video that he had, that he put up. We will address um, John 14, 16, 15, 26, 16, verses 13 through 15. Um, and this is about my, like, 31st attempt. No, i exaggerating. It's, like, my 4th, 5th attempt because YouTube is uh, stupid on the rep uh, respond to video bot for some reason. And do not give me any option to play the stop button, so I have to actually manually go and do an upload and record from there. Uh, but oh well, uh, all right. Uh, uh, first department is John fourteen sixteen. We'll begin at verse sixteen. And I shall ask the Father, again this is Yehoshua speaking, And I shall ask the Father, and he shall give you another comforter to stay with you forever, the Spirit of Truth whom the world is unable to receive, because it does not see him or know him. But you know him, for he stays with you and shall be in you so, here, Yeshua says that he will send the Father, he will ask that the Father send the Holy Spirit. This does not prove a trinity. It proves that there is an entity that's called the Holy Spirit sent from the Father um, by the request of the Son of Yehoshua. This doesn't prove one God in three persons. Furthermore, if you continue on down, it makes a good case for unit, uh, oneness apostolic, or the modalist, Sabellianist. Verse 18, I shall not leave you orphans. I am coming to you. Yet a little while, the world no longer sees me but you shall see me, because I live, you shall live, and that day you shall know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. So it sounds like Jesus is saying that he is the, the Spirit of Truth, that the Spirit of Truth is him. Uh, or at least that would be the oneness apostolic rendering of it. Uh, so, it really doesn't prove a trinity. It can prove modalist. By the way, that's also some Unitarian rendering, the readings of it. Some Unitarians do believe that Jesus and the Spirit of Truth is one and the same. And in First John, it says if... Uh, if any man sins, he has a paraclete, an advocate, a helper with the Father. And it identifies that paraclete as Yeshua, the righteous. Jesus, the righteous. In John fifteen twenty six, it says, quote, And when the helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who comes from the Father, he shall bear witness of me. So again, it shows the same thing as the previous. The Holy Spirit coming from the Father um, by the request of the Son. In John 16, we see, um, beginning verse 13, But when He comes with the He, the Spirit of truth, He shall guide you into all truth. For He shall not speak from Himself, but whatever He shall... Whatever he hears, he shall speak, and he shall announce to you what is to come. So it's uh, the Holy Spirit shall do that. 
verse 14. He shall esteem me, for he shall take what is mine and announce it to you. All that the Father has is mine. That is why I said that he take from what is mine and announces it to you. So, here it uh, pretty much uh, seemed to say that the Father is the Spirit of Truth. So, you have two verses here that seemingly um, would tend to a modalistic uh, outcome or a, a, um, would uh, put together you could make a good case that Jesus is the Father because both of them are the spirit of truth um, of course that's their rendering of the text so this doesn't prove Trinity whatsoever. Nowhere that does the text show you that there is one God that exists three persons, three distinct and co-equal and co-eternal persons. It just shows you that there's a Father that sends the Holy Spirit by the request of the Son. Okay? So there is at least yeah, three of your proof texts off the list um, October. So, Shalom Aleichem.